Jewish um, program coordinator. I work with Developmental Disabilities Council. We exist under the ADA Act, and what we do is we give grant funds to those persons with um, develop those agencies and organizations that work with people with developmental disabilities, mm -hmm. like Family Connection, we sponsor the AT Conference, we're getting ready to do, um, you know, we work with Able South Carolina. They do the work, we get the credit. I always Marvelous. say we're the, money behind, we're the money behind a lot of stuff that goes on. Okay. But our biggest thing is um, we brought our partners in policy making class in-house. And it is a totally free program for those school age, for parents with school age children okay. and individuals um, with disabilities. That's very and, valuable. Yeah, and what we do is we teach them how to advocate for themselves. Yes, ma'am. Five months a year, and it is totally free, one week in a month, and we reimburse for mileage. If respite is needed, we don't provide it, but we reimburse for it. Okay. We provide the hotel, we feed you. And like I said, just bring in the wealth of knowledge so when people actually understand, they know how to advocate for themselves. So it sounds like you all are able to comprehensively support from the standpoint of giving people access to resources that they may not otherwise realize that they have access to. So where you were saying, okay, well, I got a doctor's appointment. I got to go here. I got to go there. And I don't have the money for it. Well, if you can come up with the money for it, we'll reimburse you and things of that nature and just making certain that they've got what they need to get where they need to go. And, and those those um, partners that we bring in will mm -hmm. teach you how to do that and gotcha. how to advocate and work with the system. Gotcha. But the, the beauty is, is that kind of once you go through that program, so many people like our agency exists because 60% of persons with developmental disabilities are on the council. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you all are represented by yourselves. Yeah, I got exactly. you. I got the you. other 40% are service agencies. Yes, ma'am. So the money that's being funded is not, the decision is not made by us. Yes, ma'am. It's ma made by people with developmental disabilities. Got you. And so they know what they want. Got they you. Want. Got you. Got and you. believe it or not, they're the ones that sit on the board, but they also go through our partners in policy making class. Marvelous. And these same people are the ones that stand up and tell the legislators, hey, I'm, I'm not retarded. Get the laws changed. I understand. On, I'm, a, I'm a person. I am a person. So, Treat me as such. And, and that's exactly what we do. And then we support those other agencies, you know, through our grant funding. We're working with TASK. They're working with ABLE, our family connection. And so we kind of partner with all that just to make sure it it happens, that we keep that circle go going and growing Marvelous. at the same time. So. Marvelous. Well, I certainly appreciate that, and I'm going to make sure to document a good amount of this information so anybody that wasn't able to attend today, they can at the very least know what you got going on, and they can get in contact with you. Let's see. And Andre, I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. And this is about our housing survey. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have anything to do with us, but what we're trying to do, and that's what you have right there, mm -hmm. is we're trying to find out how many people need affordable housing. Well, right now, there's a lot of people need affordable housing. The problem is we can't get people to fill out the survey. Yes, ma'am. So you don't know the need until they tell us.